verses 8 to 10 of Surah Nuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Wa inni kullama da'awtuhum li taghfira lahum ja'alu asabi'ahum fi adhanihim wa staghshaw thiyabahum wa asarru wa staghbaru istikbara. Thumma inni da'awtuhum jihara. Thumma inni a'lantu lahum wa asrartu lahum israra. So the English translation of these three verses is as follows. And every time I call them that thou uh, mightest forgive them, they put their fingers into their ears and covered up their hearts and persisted in their iniquity and were disdainfully proud. Then I call them to righteousness openly. Then I preached to them in public and also spoke to them in private. The question is, um, these, seem, these verses seem to indicate um, successive steps for tabligh. Uh, knowing that uh, they didn't seem to work very well on Noah, Noah's people, should we follow these or not? What else can he invent? <coughs> Unless all these steps are uh, put into practice and tried one after the other, what they call in Arabic Hujjat Tamam. Last uh, effort cannot be considered to have been spent. Final effort. So Allah's wrath overtakes such people after this. It gives them lease for a while, and for another while, for another while, until everything is spent and done with. Then the time comes when Allah begins to show His wrath. So naturally these are all the steps with the prayer of course, but we don't have to go to that length and the people whom we address will not have to do all these things which are mentioned in the case of Noah's people. <coughs> 